Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another Path of Exile video, and today we're going to talk about the update to 3.24 patch notes that GTG just released, and it's a juicy one. So the new patch note stuff that we were going to be looking at is the Scarab rework, which says that the harvest crafting option to change a stack of scarabs to a different type has now been removed. Besides this, we're looking at skill gem changes, which is the very interesting one. And it reads like this. Convocation now has a maximum gem level of one. Now, this makes perfect sense to me simply because of the fact that leveling the convocation did have zero impact on 99% of all builds. It now provides regenerate 2% life per second. Previously, 0.7% at gem level one, scaling up to 1.65% at gem level 20. It now has a level requirement of 31 instead of 24 and requires 73 intelligence instead of 58. These changes do not affect existing versions of the item. Now, this is a very interesting change. I feel like it makes sense. But when I first read it, I was like, you know what? Okay, that's, I guess that's a decent change. But where's the solutions to the problems that they've been talking about? Here's the first one. Item changes. The mech alarm belt is no longer obtainable in heist. It has been placed, replaced, sorry, with a new mechanical belt, which has, has one socket as an implicit, where you can put any socket or any skill like an unset ring. Now, the problem with stuff like this is obviously the fact that we would rather use a darkness and throne on minion builds. I'm not too happy about this decision personally. It's a good initial step before you get a decent darkness and throne, I guess. Uh, they also added a suffix modifier that can roll on minion wands and shields that grants a level one convocation skill. Now we're talking. I don't think this change is going to be remotely enough, but I think this is a, a very interesting and cool step in the right direction from GGG to provide us with the alleviation of more or less mandatory abilities for quite a few minion builds and creating a baseline approach of these by having a modifier on a gear piece. So on lower budget approaches, having it on your wand is a very cool uh, approach to the game, but also running it on your shield is very, very preferable, especially now that we have access to Leech for the Necromancer Ascendancy, for example, allows you to skip the idea of a recovery approach on your shields and instead focus on getting a convocation skill to alleviate that socket pressure. I like the change, Definitely don't think this is even close to enough, but they are consistently making changes and have set in motion the idea that they really, really want to push out the solution to this right now. And I'm very happy to see that this is their first step on this. And I'm very excited to see the future steps that they're going to take in achieving a solution to the socket starvation of most minion builds. Other changes in the patch notes was that the quest reward changes. Convocation is no longer offered to the witch for completely glossy in love. It's no longer purchasable from Clarissa by the Templar Scion, and Siosa still has this available for purchase, which means that for getting Convocation, we're going to have to do the library quest in Act 3, which is the Siosa quest chain. And other than this, we saw a bug fix where Reign of Arrows of Artillery would target its own location if it could not find a target. That's the only change we have to the update for the patch notes. I'm very excited about the specific change to the Convocation. Again, I think that most minion builds will always use an anime guardian. And I know that there are some people that have the argument that we are not uh, using uh, the um, convocation. I think that is folly. And I dislike people running the idea. Well, actually, I don't dislike the people. I just dislike the idea that some people are using convocation or left click, which is no longer possible. Uh, because the idea of convocation is to fulfill a certain type of purpose. One of them is for minion builds to head, go head first into a pack of enemies, convocate, and watch the entire pack of enemies just evaporate. That is how you increase the clear speed and keep up with being somewhat competitive to higher clear speed builds in the game. The other purpose of convocation is obviously get your minions out of harm's way from enemy boss attacks. Now, enemy boss attacks, they do a tremendous amount of damage that are well telegraphed abilities. And the idea behind this is that the player is meant to dodge this by stepping out of the harm's way, either by running, moving, or, you know, using a mobility skill. Problem is, minions are much harder to control. This is why most endgame bosses on the specific abilities actually have a hidden modifier that makes them deal less damage towards minions to alleviate the fact that you are unable to permanently properly control your minions as well as you control your own character. Convocation still helps with this. 
Something that does not have this type of modifier are things like Frost, Flame, Lightning Bears, or these type of well-telegraphed abilities, or the incoming well-telegraphed approach of Detonate Dead from Corpses. This allows you to make sure that your minions get moved away through the use of Convocation to not have them die. Most minions, you're fine with having them die, except for like Spectres and whatnot, but most importantly, the Animate Guardian, Bob himself. Frustrating when he dies, and having access to Convocation is very important. This is why I never used Convocation on Lifetick if I could avoid it, and I always wanted to have full control. So you can go into a pack of enemies, or let's say you kill that pack of enemies in a small room. In the middle of that room is a strong box. You click the strong box, and uh, oh, would you know it? There's a detonate dead. You run away, you flame dash, frostbling, shield shift, whatever you need to get the hell out of that room. Now, if you have Convocation on left click, Bob might still be stuck because it was on cooldown when you started running out. That's why I don't like it. But either way, so even builds that don't normally uh, been promoted to use Convocation, I've always advocated for the use of Convocation simply because 99%, or let's, let's just gonna scratch that, 100% of every single minion build that does not have modifiers that will not allow you to use him, such as um, the Wraithor Helmet as an example, or using Reaper builds because he will eat your anime guardian. Uh, you should always use an anime garden. And even the links in the descriptions below, you'll find all my build guides, all will, will be updated before the league launches. And in there, you'll also find an in-depth guide for anime garden, how he works, how he scales, different gear suggestions from low, medium, high budget, and different kind of cool mechanics you can do with him. That guy provides so much damage and the quality of life for your build, it's absolutely insane. So if you're playing a mini build, you need to learn how the anime garden works. Convocation is a crucial part of that. Problem is, back to the topic here. Socket Starvation. Now, this Convocation solution that they're presenting now is the suffix on a weapon. Is it going to cost a lot of currency to get that with like a level or maybe plus one, plus two on the weapon and minion damage? Yeah, probably. Especially as you want to have a trigger craft in those weapons. Kind of want to have attack cast before them there as well. So for higher end, you don't want it on your weapon. You'd rather have it on your shield. This means that for us to get the suffix on a shield, we have to step away from other options such as Uniques, Surrender, Aegis Aurora, to name two very prominent and very popular choices. Have to use a very specific shield. Now we have to prioritize the convocation, but we're also looking for plus level of minion skills. We're also looking for minion damage and potentially minion crit for the builds that want stat and life and or energy shield for our own safety as well. Is it good enough? Like I said before, no, I think it's pretty far away from good enough, but I am also very excited and very happy that this is the first proper step in taking in their direction of solving the socket starvation issue and uh, we'll see how it feels and i hope there's more to come when it comes to this specific issue that's all i have to say today without ranting on and on and prolonging this video and wasting your time make sure you hit the like button subscribe for more content and i will catch you in the next one so till then as always stay safe keep rocking